first ask about the start of the band. Uh, how did you come together last year and was it like just before COVID happened or when was it actually? Well, uh, me and uh, Jonas, we've been uh, playing for a while. Uh, we've been playing since we were 16 together and we were in the other band also. But this project, we started about three years ago, maybe. And then it it's morphed into this uh, of an ad now. It was uh, more, we started off with like a 70s hard rock thing and then we just turned more metal. Uh, yeah. And then the band, the band is, as it is now, uh, started in, I guess, January or February of 2020. Yeah, so just before COVID. Uh, yeah, just before COVID, uh, yeah. where I joined as well. Yeah. What kind of experience has it been to, like, uh, you know, try to get the new, new kind of band project ahead in a time like this? Well, it's been songwriting camp, really. <laughs> like, I mean, uh, yeah, we're only first playing our like our first concert is, is scheduled for September, so it's uh, it's been it's been quite different from what we imagined. Like, because we were, you know, quite we were ready to play gigs like a long, long time ago, but like obviously there were uh, things that hindered us from doing that. So, like, we've just yeah, been writing a lot of material, really. So, mm -hmm. yeah. I think as well, one of the things that has been different uh, is that we would have, like, made the band public a, a lot earlier and yeah. started playing gigs before we released the, the EP and maybe even released the EP earlier. Uh, but, but then everything closing down made us go, all right, we'll... We'll push it a bit. We'll wait and just. We don't need to be a public band because there's there's no way to get out there yeah. right now. Yeah, but I think it's uh, I think it was a very nice experience because mm -hmm. we like got to really dig deep yeah. and uh, you know find out what we want to do really. Like, what's the 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 core of us? Like, mm -hmm. what do we want to sound like and but what, what do you want to say, really? Uh, and do we have something to say at all? <laughs> and we do, but uh, but yeah. So I I think it's it's been nice, and it's I I really enjoy writing. It's a uh, yeah, it's a kick. So yeah, how was the writing process for these songs? I mean, for example, here even the training rooms have been closed. So how were you writing these songs? And how did you manage the recording after that? Uh, yeah, I don't think the like I don't think the record the cr the recording process wasn't really an issue. Like it's not that anything like that had been closed down or anything. But uh, I think the songs are, I mean, somewhat fairly old. I mean, like they were they were practically done when you joined, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I I came in and put bass lines on 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 stuff. Yeah. You did, for, you did for this. You did your brilliant thing. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. So so uh, yeah. I think I think like the what what the the EP is is like the um, as Anders mentioned before, uh, like him and I have played together for a long time, and like we uh, we we started this band um, like uh, and like being being like more like a 70s hard rock band and but kind of like morphed into being a lot heavier so this ep is is really the heaviest material that we wrote uh like the 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 songs that suited our direction uh best if that makes sense yeah in terms yeah. of like the thing we did before yeah so this is the because like the, the you know going heavy <laughs> in a way <laughs> and we're still going heavier yeah. but 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 also to say that uh we uh, in regards of, of recording and, and writing and stuff i mean uh our our practice our, our practice space hasn't been closed down no um, uh, we've still been able to practice there and and we recorded while there was in uh in re 
recorded in this autumn. Uh, so while there was a slight reopening in Denmark, so so we actually had no issues there as well. So so on that, I, the recording and writing part has been yeah. been smooth. Okay, tell me a bit about the team of the EP then. Well, yeah, there's a <clears throat> there's a lot of different stuff, uh, not a lot, but um, <laughs> four songs, <laughs> but. Um, well, for example, uh, Submissive Impulse uh, talk about um, like equality, um, and it's kind of a it's kind of a like an anti-fascist, anti-racist statement in a way, um, like uh, from and my perspective. Anti-misogynists. Yes, as well. Yes, um, it's like a shout out, like a, a wake up wake up call, basically. Um, and um, yeah, I think Black Lung to some extent as well is is that just maybe not as explicitly put, but also like as a as a like an opposition to the scum of the earth, right? <laughs> like, um, yeah, it's very much sticking it to the man. Just <laughs> uh, I mean, I mean, it, it's it's a lot of. Uh, being tired with being tired of systems and being tired of of uh, uh, oppression, and I mean we don't feel oppression that much because we live in a uh, a quite nice country, but but we still see it uh, every day, and and there's we still live in a world where not just uh, the people are oppressed. I mean, uh, nature is getting fucked over as well. <laughs> And um, and and that is like that 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 that's the big corporations and that the the big systems that are doing that. So this is this is a like a big fuck finger to to all of that. Yeah, I think With, like the the people who can actually do, make the difference of life and death are not doing shit basically, yeah. and that's super annoying. Everybody seems to be doing a part except for from the, the people you need, like to do the part, you know, with all the, their fucking money and what else. And it's, uh, yeah, it's just, it's really sad. And uh, the people just don't care about it. And what, what, uh, what does it all mean? Like money, what does it mean if you, if you don't have anything? It's, yeah, it's, it's just silly. Mm -hmm. It's it seems so so like an easy decision, like okay, let's not fucking <laughs> fill the oceans with plastic. That seems like a <laughs> logical thing. Like yeah, let's not do that. Here is some money. I have like one trillion gazillion dollars, <laughs> like that I'm never gonna use here. Yeah. Mm. Anyway, I'm I'm getting carried away now. <laughs> <laughs> but but that, that's like. That's like the, the main thing like of, of these songs. And then, you know, they um, they go off in different directions and uh, Shadow of Flame, I guess, is the most uh, personal one um, with a little bit of like the Off and Nat, you know, Night of Sacrifice vibe in it. So, um, well, I, I talk a little bit about uh, some of my personal experiences and with depression and stuff. And then there's also a little bit of, you know, Hail Satan-ish thingy. So, but uh, but we, um, but all these lyrics, you know, the, the, these are the first, this is the first time that that uh, we've written lyrics at all. So it's all fairly new. And also the singing, you know, we, um, we've we never like sung in, in this way. and. Yeah, so it's it's whole new territory for us, but we're really uh, getting like down to to some uh, some good stuff now. I think you know and yeah, found out where we are and where we want to go. I think I think at the at the time of recording, it was fairly new territory to us. But like, yeah. it's been some seven eight months since then, and I think that that we have kind of like found each other in, in and ourselves in the whole like. Uh, um, vocal game uh, mm. Anders is doing 
90 percent of the vocals on the ep but in the material that we have written since it's much more like it's even e equally even, shared yeah it's equally shared which uh, which gives something to us as a unity i think and we really like rests in each other's uh like how we all like contribute to it like it's uh yeah 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 how much is there uh, material up your sleeves after the one year songwriting camp <laughs> well there's <laughs> there, there's an album uh yeah yeah and uh and some more stuff yeah we got a lot of stuff yeah. we we've, we've uh we've been writing again coming back to uh, we've been since we recorded the the ep we've we've just been looking forward so so just writing new stuff and writing new stuff and, and now it's come to that we we hopefully uh, at some point uh, soon can start uh, the recording process for for a full length um, in some way and and show the the full monty of mm -hmm. uh, of Annette. yeah